For girls who are becoming women, Sophie Girls Period Guide. Puberty and changes in a body. You have all grown so much since you were born. Now, from the age of 10 to 15, you will grow a lot more. How does your body change when you become an adult? Changes in a girl's body. Breasts grow, and underarm hair grows. Pelvis grows, and hips get rounder. Pubic hair grows. Changes in a boy's body. Muscles and bones develop to form a solid body type. Voice changes, and Adam's apple grows larger. Hair grows under arms, on legs, and in pubic region. Body changes can happen at different times for different people, but the way the body changes to become an adult is called puberty. The inside of the body changes as well. Let's look inside a girl's body. Uterus. When a baby is made, this is the room where it grows until it is born. The inside of the uterus is called the endometrium, and this is like a comfortable bed for the baby. Ovum, egg. When the ovum meets a sperm, it becomes a fertilized egg. Vagina. This connects the uterus to the outside. The baby travels through here when it is born. Ovary. There is one on both sides of the uterus. They are full of ova since birth, and they ripen ova and produce female hormones when instructed to by the brain. Fallopian tubes. These tubes come out from each side of the uterus, and the sperm travel down them to meet the egg. It catches the ovum released from the ovary and sends the sperm, which came through the vagina, towards the uterus. If the ovum is met by a sperm and fertilized, it is sent on to the uterus. Next, let's look inside a boy's body. Testicles. There is one on each side, which produces sperm and male hormones. Sperm. Sperm look like tadpoles and are about 0.06 millimeters long. They travel up the vagina through the uterus to the end of the fallopian tubes. If sperm meets an ovum, they fertilize the egg. Vas deferens. These tubes are where the sperm travel, and they connect the testicles to the urethra. Penis. Sperm go through the urethra in the middle of the penis to leave the body. In puberty, the brain sends orders to the ovaries and testicles, telling them to produce hormones. These hormones make the changes outside and inside the body, helping get a girl's body ready to make babies and a boy's body ready to produce sperm, which are also needed to make babies. Review Quiz Question 1. Which of the following does not happen when a girl's body changes? 1. Breasts grow larger. 2. Voice changes and Adam's apple grows larger. 3. Pelvis grows and hips get rounder. The answer is number 2. It is boys whose voices change. Question 2. Why do boys' and girls' bodies change during puberty? 1. They are preparing to make babies. 2. They are preparing to work. 3. They are preparing to live away from home. The 
answer is number one. Girls' bodies change so that they can give birth to babies, and boys' bodies change so that they can produce sperm for making babies. About period. When a woman's body has developed, it gets ready to start making a baby about once a month. If an egg isn't fertilized, the body gets rid of everything it does not need. This is called a period or menstruation. Now let's look at how a period works. One, the ovum matures inside the ovary. Two, the ovary releases the mature ovum. Three, the fallopian tube collects the ovum released by the ovary. Four, the ovum enters the fallopian tube. Five, when the ovum first leaves the ovary, the uterus begins developing a thick lining, which would be the bed to nurture the baby, and it builds up blood for nutrition. Six, if the ovum does not meet any sperm, the lining that has been built up inside the uterus is no longer needed, so the uterus sheds the lining and it leaves the body along with the ovum. This is how a period happens. The blood that comes out during a period is mixed with the uterine lining and is called menstrual blood. It is different from blood that comes out during a nosebleed or a cut. The first period is called menarche. Many girls get their first period around the age of 10 to 13. But some girls, it might occur earlier, and for some, it might occur later. Everyone is different, so there is no need to worry. If you suddenly grow taller, your breasts grow, and you sometimes find some white or light yellow liquid called discharge on your underwear, your first period might not be far away. Discharge is a sticky fluid that comes out of the vagina when the hormones that help the body mature are working. Discharge protects the vagina's mucous membrane from unhealthy bacteria. If you don't want discharge to get on your underwear, you can wear a panty liner. For the first period, a bit of brown stuff or like light blood can stain your underwear. For the first time, not a lot of menstrual blood comes out, so there's no need to worry. It can be helpful to get a pouch of pads and underwear ready to use with your first period. Period length. During a period, menstrual blood comes out for several days. It depends on the person, but it usually lasts from four to seven days. At first, it is not in a regular rhythm, so it might stop sooner. And even after some time passes, it can get longer or shorter, depending on your physical and emotional condition. Period flow. During a period, many people have the heaviest flow on the second day, and from the third day onwards, the flow gets lighter. Menstrual cycle. The time from the day the period starts to the day before the next one is called the menstrual cycle. Everyone is different, but in general, it lasts from 25 to 35 days. Some people's cycles may be shorter and others longer. Even the same person may have a different cycle length every time, depending on their body's condition, so there is no need to worry if your cycle changes a little. If you keep a record of when your period starts on a calendar or day planner, you can get to know generally how long your cycle will be. Cramps. Along with a period can come a heavy stomach, tender breasts, and abdominal pain called cramps. This happens when the uterus contracts to push out the menstrual blood. You can warm your abdomen or do some light exercise to improve blood flow and lessen the pain. If it still hurts, try taking a rest. 
There are some general standards for periods, but everyone is different. If you feel worried or unsure, ask someone you trust. Men do not give birth to babies, so they do not have periods. But around when girls are beginning their period, boys have something called spermarchy, when sperm leave their body for the first time. Review quiz. Question 3. Why does a period happen? 1. Because of an injury in the abdomen. 2. Because of oncoming illness. 3. Because the body does not need to prepare for a baby anymore. The answer is number 3. When a baby is not made, the uterine lining is not needed, so it falls off and leaves the body, and that is a period. About menstrual products. Considering that a woman will have periods for about 40 years, the total time spent having periods over her lifetime is about 6 years and 9 months. It will be a long-time relationship. In order to spend this time in comfort, it is important to choose menstrual products that are a good fit. They all have special ways they are used and thrown away. So let's look together. What are menstrual products? The pad is the most common. Apply the pad to your underwear to catch the blood that comes out of the body. Different kinds of menstrual products. There are pads of different lengths and thicknesses. Pads for nighttime use, pads with wings, and pads with different textures. It can feel stuffy and itchy if menstrual blood stays in contact with the skin for a long time, so do not forget to change the pad often. Choosing a pad. Use a pad that suits your clothing or level of activity for that day. By choosing a pad that fits your lifestyle, you can get through your period in comfort. Let's see what types best fits. For active days, use the slim type with wings. To sleep without worrying about leaks, choose the nighttime type. There are many varieties. Choose the pad that fits your lifestyle. How to use a pad. 1. Remove the pad from the wrapper. 2. Use the sticky side to attach the pad to your underwear. If there are no wings, that's it. If it is a long pad, make sure the front and back are in place. 3. If there are wings, fold them around the underwear. Make sure the wings go around the narrowest part of the underwear crotch. How to throw away a pad. 1. If the pad has wings, first remove the wings and then peel the used pad off the underwear. 2. Fold the wings inward, then roll up the pad with the menstrual blood on the inside. 3. Wrap it up in the outer wrapping of the new pad. If there is no wrapping, use toilet paper to wrap it up. 4. Throw it away in the designated garbage can. If there is no designated garbage can, Wrap it in toilet paper or the like and take it home. Always check if there is any menstrual blood on the toilet seat. Notes about throwing pads away. Pads do not dissolve in water, so never flush them down the toilet. Always throw away used pads in the designated garbage can beside the toilet. Review quiz. Question 4. Which is the wrong way to throw away a pad? 1. Roll it up with the menstrual blood on the inside. 2. Throw it away in the designated garbage can. 3. Flush it down the toilet. The answer is number 3. Never flush pads down the toilet. This will cause the toilet to get clogged. 
Did everyone understand about all the changes a girl goes through at puberty? And about periods and menstrual products? If there is something you do not understand or are worried about, do not keep it to yourself and just ask. Menstrual products that fit your needs and for a comfortable period. Sophie supports girls as they become women.